Let's convert these two binary numbers to decimal. This 4-bit number on the left, the way I like to do it is I write uh, the column weightings in each column above each bit of the number. Starting with the rightmost bit, I'll write the weighting 1. This is the 1's column. Then a 2, because this is the 2's column. Then we have the 4's column, the 8's column. And notice the pattern. It just doubles, starting with 1. 1, 2, 4, 8. It just keeps doubling as you move to the left. The next step is wherever you have a 1, bring down the column weighting. And so we have a 1 here, so we bring down the 8, and then we have a 1 in the 4's column, so we bring down the 4. We have a 0 in the 2's column, so we skip that one, and then we have a 1 in the 1's column. We bring that down, and we add all these numbers together. 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And that's it. This binary number, 1101, is equivalent to the decimal number 13. Now let's try a little bit larger example, an 8-bit binary number. Start by writing the column weightings, 1, 2, 4, 8, and we just keep doubling, 16, 32, 64, oops, that's a 4 there, and then 128, and then wherever we have a 1, we bring down the column weighting. So we have a 1 in the 128 column, 0, 0, so we ignore those. We have a 1 in the 16 column, so bring that down. 0 in the 8's column, so we ignore that. We have a 1 in the 4's column, so bring down that column weighting, and 0 and 0. So now we add these column weightings together. 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 8 is 18. And then we have 1 plus 2 plus the carry, so that's a 4, and a 1. So this binary number is equivalent to the decimal number 148.